any emotion you feel should be converted into positive influence. Yeah. yeah, you should do good things with any emotion you feel. I, I can't. And what else are you going to do with it? Quite and this yeah. is a genuine question. Yeah. What else? If, if let's say your your wife breaks your heart, if you're not going to work, you can't sleep anymore. Mm. You're upset. She's running around with a new dude. You see her Instagram story. She got some new guy. You're furious and you're you're angry and you're jealous and you're bitter. You have all of this inside of you but you're not going to go to the gym and work hard and become so fantastically in shape and so rich and so powerful that no girl ever leaves you again. You're not going to do that. No. What are you going to do with it? Text her? <laughs> Try and explain to her? She doesn't care. Like You, doesn't, you can no. write the most perfect English. You can write the most beautiful words ever constructed. Forget Shakespeare. Convincing, you can do... It doesn't matter. She doesn't care. Mm. She just doesn't she care. She's distracted. She, she forgot about you. She forgot about you. So what are you going to do with all of that inside of you if it's not positive? Well, it's going to consume you and you're going to end up self-destructive or you're going to embarrass yourself or you can take all of that and put yourself in a position where it never happens to you again. Yeah. Those are the choices. So what's the most intelligent choice to make? Yeah. You know, um, I, I don't understand how many humans function in the world today. I don't get people who don't think like me. I, I, I don't understand it. I'm like, well, then how do, how have you survived this long? Life is hard. Life is difficult. I, maybe I've just been unlucky, which I don't believe in, but I've had so much trauma and bad events and negativity and stress and all these things that have happened to me. And I've used all of it to be monumentally su successful. If I wasn't that way inclined with the workload that God put on my shoulders, I'd just be in a ditch somewhere. Yeah. I just would have killed myself by now. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how people are functioning. If you're not thinking like me and you're going through life with any other mindset, you've been extremely fortunate that God smiled on you and allowed you to sit around most of the time doing jack shit and you have yet to be punished for that. Yeah. I, I could never have lived that life. If yeah. I was a bit lazy or a bit, you know, or I was a bit of a snake or if I lied to people, I'd be dead by now. Yeah. Like, so a lot of these people are just absolutely and utterly blessed by God that they managed to go through life with such a non-competitive mindset and they're still breathing. Like, yeah. I, and I don't get, I, I don't understand how people can think any other way. Yeah. I've spoken to dudes and like, yeah, you know, I had a bad couple months. Why? Oh, my girl left me. You've wasted months. You've wasted months over some. But, but, but the reason the reason I'm the luckiest man on earth is because God has given me endless building blocks to build a superhero. I, he's, he, he's given me endless power. He's given me endless motivation. What did we say? Yeah. He's given me endless. I have endless sources of power. I can sit here right now and recall events that will prevent me from sleeping for two to three days. That gives me a superpower that other men do not have. They want to go to sleep. They're tired. I, I can stop being tired for, for days at a time. I can just have a thought. I can remember. I can sit, close my eyes, and use the power of my brain to vividly remember events, and I will not sleep for days. So how you don't can, need any drugs. You don't need anything. I, I've never taken a drug in my life. I've never tried cocaine in my life. I've never tried weed in my life, ever. Wow. I drink a lot of coffee. I wow. smoke cigars, a bit yeah. of vodka, but I've never tried a narcotic in my life. Wow. So... And when people come to me and say, oh, this happened, I'm really sad, or my heart broke, or this bad thing happened to me, I say, good. Good. That's Thank your... the Lord that he's given you this endless source of motivation. You're wasting it. Yeah. That's your problem. But it's been given to you. Nitrous oxide has been given to you. You just have to use it in the correct way. So I'm the luckiest man in the world because uh, all the bad things that happened to me have given me all the building blocks to become the most fantastic man on the face of the planet. Every, I, I, there's, I don't think there's ever going to be one person on so the planet you're truly is. compatible with. I think there's going to be, you know, a few. And uh, if you have your life in order as a man, truly and completely in order, then you're compatible with a lot more people. I think that if you're a man and you're struggling to find somebody you're compatible with, that's probably because you're a degree, you're a loser. If your life's in order, then you're compatible with, with a lot of women. Like me, me, for example, I don't need a woman to mother me. I don't need a woman to motivate me, to tell me to stop playing video games. I don't need her to do anything for me. I need her to be happy, uh, positive, protect my spirit, pray for me, mm. maybe little things, make me a coffee, some kind of small gesture, but my money's right. Yeah. My motivation's right. My life is right. And if she is associated with me by proxy, she's going to have a fantastic life. I can't fly on my jet and put her on, on an easy jet. Yeah. Like she's going to end up on jets. Yeah. She's going to end up in the five star hotels. She's going to end up not having to worry about money. She's going to end up in the best restaurants yeah. by proxy. She's yeah. going to have a very fantastic life. So you'll, you'll find that if your expectations of a woman are for her to be happy and you have a lifestyle that makes her happy, a lot of women are pretty happy yeah. and you get along with basically all of them. It's kind of, a, it's kind of amazing how that works. It only, it takes a very special type of character to still be dislikable in those kind of scenarios. Mm. Yeah. Whereas if your, your life is less 
perfect or your reality is less impressive boring, then, right. then yeah then you need a girl who's happy to be bored or ha and then it becomes harder yeah you know? but I, yeah. I don't have any of those problems